what's up youtube i am back with another video today and today i will be talking to you guys about my um no shampoo no conditioner natural hair journey for those of you who don't know i've been on a natural hair journey since like last year during covid and it was so unplanned it was so unplanned i did not get on a natural hair journey so my hair could so i could embrace and rock my natural hair i actually got on a natural hair journey because i could not find a barber to cut my hair and i wanted my hair to grow long enough to get some braids so yeah but during that journey i actually fell in love with my natural hair but a lot of people always ask me shonda what do you put in your hair what products do you use what do you blah 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 so i made a post on instagram you know showing everybody my growth and i said no shampoo <clears throat> no conditioner no special hair products i literally just use water and my natural oils that i make myself that is it and people ask me shonda why you stop using show? Why you don't use shampoo? How do you clean your hair? How you don't use conditioner? And blah, blah, blah. blah. I, so first of all, I've been on this caveman journey. Because I just want to see, like, if we was living out in the middle of nowhere, like in the forest, or like way, 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 way. If I was living like thousands, thousands of years ago, before all this stuff existed. Or who knows what they was using. They probably was using some type of stuff. But... I'm just saying, what would I do if I was stuck on the island for a year with just fruits and vegetables and just water? Nope, nothing. I would do nothing. My hair would just grow. And you know another thing? Men, nobody ever asks men what they use on their hair. Men don't be using no special products. They had just be growing and growing. They just, and then they go to the barbershop and they cut their hair. So I was like, hmm, I want to get on a caveman journey and just see what will my hair do if I stop using shampoo if I stop using conditioner, if I stop using this moisturizer, this um product, that product, this hair growing product, and all that blase blase, what will my hair do? Will it stop growing? Will it come out? What will it do? So, last year I made the decision to not use no more shampoo and to not use no more conditioner. Because I'm like, these products are man-made. Do I really need these products? And you know what I realized throughout this year? Cause I said if it don't if it don't act right, I'm gonna go back to using shampoo and conditioner. But I just want to see if I need it or not. And it's been to come to find out, I actually don't. My hair actually grows. I mean, some people hair grow faster, some people hair grow slower. You know what I'm saying? Like I said on my Instagram, I'm not here to compare my hair growth journey to nobody but my own. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's growing faster, whether it's growing slow, I don't know. I've never let my hair grow out before in my entire life. I've literally just been relaxing it, bleaching it, cutting it, gluing it, all type of messed up stuff to my hair. So this is actually my first time in my entire life just letting my hair just be natural and just let it do what it do. And this what is this what is done. And I feel like a lot of times these products be ripping our hair from its natural ripping and because I think our hair has natural oils in it and. I had I haven't really fully researched it. Like I said, this was nothing. I mean, I didn't research it, so I just, I just did it. Like it can't hurt. It ain't, it ain't like I was putting up bad product in my hair, and I have to research that. It's like I'm not doing nothing to my hair. And another thing is, what I've stopped doing is gelling my edges every day. Like I still lay my edges down and use gel every now and again, but I. I, I, I've taken a break from doing it every day. Like, you don't want to just keep putting those products on your edges every day, every day, every day. You know what I'm saying? And, like, sometimes I may do it, like, once or twice a week. Maybe I won't do it none that week. Maybe I do it t two or three or four times that week. You know what I'm saying? Or none at all. So, yeah. And... I don't, I know I'm just rambling, but I'm just sharing with y'all. This is basically what I eat. And I also do eat way healthier than I ate way, um, you know, I eat different now. Like, I don't eat a lot of processed food like I normally do. Like, I normally eat processed food every day. Like, break, wake up for breakfast and have processed food. Wake up, I mean, for lunch, processed food. And for dinner, processed food. And hardly no fruits and vegetables. Like, literally, probably fruits, probably like two or three times a month back then if that and then the fruits that i was eating was processed like canned fruits and stuff like that now i consume a lot of fruits and vegetables raw like my diet is mostly raw 
I'm going to make a video and explain to y'all why my diet is and how it is and all that stuff. It's going to be another video. But this is about my no shampoo, no conditioner, no nothing hair. And I feel like I save a lot of money. Like, well, who don't want to save money? Like, I don't have to spend money on no... Ex I, used to spend this, I used to spend all money on type of expensive shampoo and conditioner. And then I got tired of spending money on the, on the expensive shampoo and conditioner because I'm like, whatever. I started buying the cheap shampoo and conditioner and it still was like... What was the point of me buying the expensive shampoo and conditioner when all I was going to do was bleach it, damage it, and cover it up? So, I was just over it. So, yeah, I'm not trying to tell y'all to stop using shampoo and conditioner. I always do what works for you, okay? I am just do. I just did what works for me. So it was just a caveman journey, just a random thing that I just decided to do. And I'm actually excited about it. So, I don't think I'm going to go back to using Shampoo or condition. I mean, I'm just saying, if it ain't broke, what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Whatever that is. But yeah, that is what. That's why I don't use shampoo and conditioner on my hair. And my whole caveman journey too is um, I don't shower with soap either. So that video is on my YouTube channel. I'll leave that link in the description about that so yeah if y'all got any other questions or and what are y'all thoughts on shampoo do y'all use your shampoo condition i hear a lot of people make their own shampoo and condition i don't even do that i'm just saying like i said if it ain't broke it ain't but what what's the point of fixing if it ain't broke so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if y'all got something that y'all want me to talk about leave it in the comments or if you um did the same thing and you want to try it let me know have you tried it or whatever and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching Bye bye